Welcome to OpenStax Tutor Beta with LMS integration. Today we're going to look at how to integrate your Blackboard course with your OpenStax Tutor course. And I've got a couple of things open in my browser, two different tabs. One is my OpenStax Tutor course and the other is my Blackboard course. If you'll do the same, you can follow along. I'm going to start with my OpenStax Tutor course. I'm going to go over here to my drop-down menu and select Course Settings. So you can see that we've got two options here. We can give students direct links or we can integrate with our LMS. If you haven't yet requested LMS integration, you won't see the second link. So make sure you do that first uh, and then this will become available to you. So we've got this selected. We've got our Blackboard tab selected and you can see that a URL, a key, and a secret automatically populate. We'll copy and paste those into our Blackboard settings in just a minute. Let me go over to my Blackboard course now. And I am looking at an Ultra, a Blackboard Ultra course. So if you're looking at a different version, you might see something a little bit different, but the steps are basically the same. The first part of this is something that you need to have administrator privileges to do. If you don't have administrator privileges, your LMS admin will be able to do this for you. So essentially we're gonna whitelist OpenStax Tutor. I'm gonna click into this admin panel and I'm going to go over here to this Integrations tab and select LTI Tool Providers. From here, I'm going to click Register Provider Domain. And then I'm just going to type in tutor.openstax.org. So we've already done this, so that automatically populated for me. But you'll type that in. You'll select Approved for Provider Domain Status. And then under Default Configuration, make sure that you've got Set Separately for each link selected. You will not enter a key or a secret here. Each OpenStax Tutor course will integrate separately with each Blackboard course. Under Institution Policies, select Send User Data Only Over SSL. Uh, keep these fields selected. And then you'll click Submit. And that's all you've got to do to whitelist OpenStax Tutor. I'm going to close this administrator panel. And then I'm going to go into my OpenStax Tutor Biology 2 course. All right, so once I'm in my course, I'm going to go to content. You might find content in different course modules. Um, so it might look a little bit different depending on how you've set up your course or how your institution sets up courses for you. I'm going to go to build content. I'm going to select web link. And we're going to set OpenStax Tutor up as a link in your Blackboard course. So I'm setting up um, my link. I'm naming it OpenStax Tutor. This URL is going to be our launch URL. So I'm going to go into my OpenStax Tutor course. I'm going to copy this URL. I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to select this link is to a tool provider. This is when your key and secret fields will pop up. So I'm going to go back into my tutor course, copy my key, paste it here. I'll do the same with the secret. I'll paste it here. I'm going to enable evaluation so OpenStax Tutor can send scores to Blackboard. I'm going to make this 10 for points if possible. This is obviously up to you make this visible to students. You can set a due date or not. Um, you can add a text description. I've got this set to open in a new window. And then permit users to view this content. You can track the number of views and select the rest uh, as you feel appropriate. I'll click submit from here. And you can see that in content, I've got a link to my OpenStax Tutor course. So I'm just going to click on this. voila, we're logged in. So this automatically logged us right into the course because we've had OpenStax Tutor open in another browser tab. If you didn't and you hadn't been logged in already, it would just ask for your login credentials. So you'd enter your username and your password and you'd get right into your course. If you've got any questions, you can always contact us at support at openstaxtutor.org. We hope this video is helpful and good luck on your integration.